Just a day away from the opening of Catching Fire, the girl on fire herself, Oscar winner Jennifer Lawrence is with us this morning and back as Katniss, the Hunger Games victor who's now up against even bigger dangers than she could have ever imagined. Take a look. You two have a very simple task. I never meant for anyone to get killed. He has to know that. What are you talking about? Who has to know what? Snow, he came to see me. He's worried about rebellion in the districts. He thinks that they don't believe our love story. You know, Katniss, you should have told me that before I went out there and tried to give these people the money. I'm sorry, I didn't know what to do. Katniss, what were you thinking? Please, please just help me get through this trip. Please just help us get through this. To have with us right now, yeah, Jennifer like Lawrence, oh, J-Law, joining us live here on Good Morning America. You look so good. Oh, you look so good. Oh, how are you? Good, oh, it's warm you. up a little bit. It's hot, I know. I know. They were like, oh, no, 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 you don't have to go outside, but we'll leave the door open. I, exactly. Might as well. <laughs> yeah. It's great to have you here. We've had some of your castmates, your friends that have been you. coming by all this week. It's almost here. It's I know. Almost, and it's, it's happening. Than, it's bigger than ever. I mean, everything about it is bigger, everyone's talking about, because I've saw it. The arena is bigger, all of that. How do you feel a day before the big premiere, everybody waiting for it? Um, I don't, I'm, I'm normally really clueless to like when the movie's coming out, because we do so many premieres that somebody's like, yeah, the movie's out. I'm like, today, really? Yeah. Um, but it's really exciting, because I'm so proud of it. I was so excited yeah. when I saw it. I just think it's, it's, it's such a great movie. So when you see everybody mm -hmm. that's so excited at all of these premieres, I'm like, yeah, I, <laughs> you're going to like it. <laughs> yeah, they will. They were at the premiere last night here in New York, and we had fans lining up here at one o'clock in the morning oh, uh, uh, to see you. And it's just, it's really, it's caught on fire. Uh, no, <laughs> no pun intended. But I understand that you thought at one point you didn't want to be involved with this because you didn't want to you know, you thought you'd be bored with the character? <laughs> no, I mean, I was m mostly, I, it just, I thought it took some more thought than just kind yeah. of a, yeah, you know, it's mm -hmm. not a lot of times that just saying yes to something will completely change your life. So I thought it, I should think about it for a few days and just make sure. Um, but that, yeah, that was something that I was like, I was like, yeah, I'll probably have fun on the first movie and then, you know, be mm -hmm. bored mm -hmm. for the rest of them. But it's so, I'm so relieved <laughs> and so excited because the group of people is so fun that it just feels like going back and going home. And also her journey keeps getting yeah. more and more exciting. So yeah, definitely and, not bored. And there's so, they're definitely not. And there's, <laughs> there's some similarities with Katniss's journey and that of yours. I mean, because she's a reluctant victor. She's going out on this victory tour and she really doesn't want it to be about her. And you're the same way oh, about yeah. being at home and not really wanting all the accolades that go along with being the star that you have become. Oh, How thank do you. Deal you. With that? Well, the, the stakes are a lot lower <laughs> in my <laughs> yeah, life. Yeah, than, than Katniss, <laughs> yeah. that's true. Um, but um, I don't know. I mean, I'm just like, I just feel so, you know, most of my friends are like still trying to kind of figure out what they want to do. And mm -hmm. I just feel so lucky to like, I, I'm doing what I love and I, I can do that forever. It's just, I just feel really lucky. So whatever comes along with it is just, uh -huh. it's a part of it. And this is part of it. You know, all the people who come out to see you, the premieres and that. And I know in the LA premiere, you became quite ill. Was yeah. it a scary moment? What happened? I don't, I, I was getting these really bad abdominal pains for like three weeks and I didn't, I did that thing where I'm like, I'm not going to go to the doctor. And then mm -hmm. I finally like had a day where I was like, no, I, I need to get this looked at. Um, and then uh, now it's reported in the news that I went to the emergency room for gas, <laughs> which is awesome. I was like, you know what? I don't even want to, I don't even want to like, let's confirm that. <laughs> That's okay. We'll take yeah. your word for it. We'll take your word for it. But I know you were joking around the late night shows about that too, but yeah, there was a scary moment for you yeah, to have to go yeah. in the hospital. Well, I mean, that. there was, yeah, I mean, they're still, they're, they're saying it could either be in my lower intestine or all in my oh. mind. So I'm going to cross my fingers for it's all in my mind and I'm just crazy. <laughs> well, you have so much that's, that's going on and you have been very outspoken. Josh was here and Liam and they, they all say the word that they use, unfiltered, that's you. Right. And that you're the prankster on the set. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I'm not like creative enough to do like actual pranks. I think I'm just mean to everybody and everybody's <laughs> no, like, oh, not. she's such a pranker. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm serious. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> no, that's just like, that's our set. I don't even, when we watch these movies, we're like, wow, we actually buckled down and did a movie. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that we did that because we're so busy like punching each other and, and having fun playing this game. <laughs> that, we just what, have an what excuse. Game is it? It's if you look at the circle, then I get to punch you. And if you break it, <laughs> you can punch me. 
And then if I catch your finger, I can punch you. Oh, it's just, whoa. Yeah. yeah, and Woody and I one time went through a whole scene while we were doing it, and just the whole, <laughs> I was like, did you see mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw yours, yeah. <laughs> it's just, That's why you have all the bruises Yeah, I know, they like take that. it easy on me when yeah. we're doing press tours, because yeah. I have bare arms. But, <laughs> also part, but also part of it, the costumes, and some of oh the my costumes God, say yeah. they want to keep them. And the dress that you wore in L.A., on the red carpet, there oh, was somebody God. that from our audience was asking questions because we had uh, people to ask in, and they said, "Was that your all-time? Was that your favorite? That look right there." At the, the, um, uh, at the LA. No, I wouldn't say that. I think anytime a girl has to show her thighs, it's never going to be her <laughs> favorite look. <laughs> I loved it. I loved the dress. If somebody else wore it. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what we. That's what we really appreciate about I, you. I mean, it's hard for any woman to look at a picture of herself and be like, "Yeah, I look, yeah, I look good." Yeah. Right? Great job. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> No. But you talk about this and, and you're very very outspoken and we really appreciate it about you're talking about, you know, it's become a sport being mean about people about how they dress, what they look like. And you said that people have made a sport about out of it, not just in Hollywood, but, but across the country. And let's let's cut it out. Let's yeah, it. it's just become funny to kind of make fun of each other and, and these and I and I also don't like other, you know, women slaughtering women and just yeah. all of us are just being so mean and we're kind of yeah. like, we're so responsible for this younger generation, this mm -hmm. media and like, it's what's what children, it's what the kids are watching and then it's teaching, teaching people how to like talk to each other and relate to each other. I just don't like it. I don't, why can't we just be nice? Yeah. And that's what we <laughs> it's like, like we grow up and then we get back right back into high school. It's, it does seem that way, but it's been great when someone like you steps up like that, especially I love oh, the strong you. character that you play in Katniss. And oh, one final question. You are getting a lot of love, the hair. People were oh, asking, thanks. and we got a lot of Twitter uh, on Twitter, people asking, you know, what was the motivation behind cutting the hair? I really don't know. Hair. It was really impulsive. I was just like, I'm cutting it. And then it was just all gone. <laughs> and now I just look in the mirror and I'm like, yeah, it is. It's gone. <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> thank you. It looks great. Thank you. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much. I know you got a busy day and a lot going on. And take care of yourself. Oh, thank you. Know, you know, belly. take care of yourself. <laughs> and you can see The Hunger Games Catching Fire opens nationwide. It's tomorrow. Oh, my God. In case you know, J-Law, it's tomorrow. <laughs> Just a day away 